morning hello and welcome to my daily vlog i am currently just looking for my knife my knife even if i can get my words out um i think it must have dropped out of the pocket i need it to do all the strawing up we've got to do for the kettle oh i found it look here look here yes i knew it must have disappeared there um last night i went to a uh, highgate auction which is some experience let me tell you down there and um there's some really genuinely great people down there some people that had seen and watched the show and uh, they were selling chickens and ducks and all sorts of bits and bobs so i think i'll put a few bits in now you can see some of that while i get on the uh, 130 and do some straddling i'm going somewhere that i haven't been before no motorbike just going down there this is Highgate Greyhound Stadium and they do some sales on a Saturday and they're doing a poultry uh, sale now so yeah let's check it out it's busy indoor sales <laughs> Uh, all here. DB here as well. <laughs> Cafe. <laughs> Beers. <laughs> like it. Back in here. Feel seals egg selling business at age seven. <laughs> Yo, beauties. <laughs> I don't even have to offer an introduction here. You got Jimmy. Jimmy the Teeth! Yay! <laughs> so he's on TikTok doing these lives, aren't you? Yes. Any sale, you're on it. Bobby Dazzler. Check him out on TikTok. Thank he's going to get onto YouTube eventually. Yo, beauties! Did <laughs> <laughs> you get eggs free? Free. The, cho <laughs> the chocolate ones. Look at him. Professional chicken catcher or quail catcher. <laughs> Is that what they are? Yeah. Get upside what down. are you going to do with these? It's for sale tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> He's bought a new hat. Let's have a look at your new hat. Let's have a look at your new hat. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Highgate. See you, Doug. Um, that's it from uh, our experience at Highgate Greyhound Stadium. Um, yeah, it's, it's uh, somewhat different anyway. It's got lots of poultry, like I say, and on Saturdays they've got um, a sale of all sorts, basically from tools to quad bikes to um, yeah, just anything and everything that you could ever think of, like garden furniture, there'll be all sorts. I'm going to um, get back in the car and uh, go back on. Yeah, it's uh, some characters down there, let me tell you that. But it's uh, nice to see that they're having a bit of success with the um, auctions that they're having down there. Because this place has looked like it's going to close for forever. Um, so it was a greyhound flapping track, so it never used to work. Everyone under like the greyhound rules. Um, whether they still do that down there, I don't know. But um, they do have an auction on a Wednesday and a Saturday. And it seems to have brought the place alive, it gets very busy. And um, yeah, it's, it's nice to see that from a phoenix, uh, from the ashes, it's, it's sort of coming back and uh, yeah, supporting a local, uh, a local business. Right, anyway, um, so check him out on, on YouTube, Jimmy the Teeth, um, <laughs> what a character. And uh, we'll get back on with doing our straw bedding this morning. Well, it looks like we've got some heat on the job. Before it gets into the red, we'll clean the filters out. We have got some fair dusty straw at the minute. That's that done anyway. So this is a straw coming out. Bending them down, keeping them clean. Right, I'm off out in this dingy dong in this uh, this daff again. Um, I'm off out in the daff. Taking some uh, cattle in. Then we get back, we've got some whole crop to do at John Deere Mix. 
So we'll uh, we'll check that out a little bit later. Right, we're back into the yard now. We've got bits and bobs to do. Zoom call in one and a half minutes, which I will tell you about. Hopefully soon in the next few days um but right we need to get stuff ready for this whole crop in so we'll get to no wrong with that so i've had a phone call from john d and mick sounds like we are go 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 on the bailing i can tell you what i'm going to be doing and what the video call was um, that i had earlier so on uh, next thursday and friday i'm going to be going to the royal highland show never been there before first time ever and um, I'm going to be going there with RBS Business, so NatWest, Lombard, all those guys. Uh, I'm going to be on their stand, we're going to be doing a bit of um, filming as we go around, there's a little bit of a film crew there. So uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, never been to the Royal Highland Show before. Fantastic to be working with um, the main sponsor of the Highland Show as well, just like this YouTube journey. Where has it led me? Eh? This is crazy. So um, thanks to everyone that's watching. And um, yeah, so that, that's next week. That's next week. This is today, and we need to get this done. No, he's on the 130. He's going to go and get that on a trailer. And then he's going to follow me to Mix. Never been that way before, so he'll, uh, he'll yeah, he gets to know, know a new place. So we got the tines on. To be fair, um, Mick says that he's got his loader tractor there, but we've got two with along then it we might as well take it right we're on the way we're on it actually i get to see a field for once which would be nice i'm not for not very long mind but i will get to see one for a little bit at least so we've got here and um got a lot of bales lined up there so we'll get now we'll fetch the tractor up and we'll get them loaded on I'm putting these on now and I've got nowhere inside of me just for a bit of extra weight because <laughs> I think we ought to just be putting them on one at a time. So these are heavy. Okay, near enough crashed into the trailer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mix, mix baler can pack it in, let me tell you that. But mix cut this rather than put it through the combine because he said it, uh, he thought the, the grass that was in it would make it rattle and bang and just be no good for a combine so he's cut it for that but it also will help with next year the seeds haven't germinated so he's not going to get that seed burden on this um, on this part of the field so it'll be cleaner so it's a little bit of a sacrifice now but it will reap the rewards hopefully in the future by having a cleaner crop and um, less competition from the grass. Noah's gonna get this loaded up now as I've got mine just to strap up and get on my way. Mick's on his way up now with his new box on. Look at that. It's looking tidy that. I need to get some stickers actually for it. Then his new baler. Not put a foot wrong yet. We'll just wait for this to pop out. There we go, look. Creating those heavy, heavy bales. So the pickup reel there at the back, the silver bit, is what picks it all up. And the belts roll it. I think there's some rollers actually initially so you can carry on at full speed with that one packing it around and in the back you've got the net wrap which puts the plastic around so we can hold the bale together it's off so we're back in the yard we'll get this um, documented down and get it wrapped the heavy, heavy bales. Have a guess at that, what that grosses out at. Um, that tractor and trailer is heavy. Right, so I've got this set back up here. We'll get it turned on, lower it down. We'll get the JCB and we'll be away. Right, that's the little diesel engine running away. It didn't have any diesel in it, so we just filled that up. And uh, we're going to get the JCB. So I spoke too soon with this. This, I think... 
the filter, the diesel filter, is full of muck because it sounded like it was starved of diesel. So we've I've emptied all the diesel out into the uh, environmental uh, area, and um, I've got this out. I've blown it out at airline, put some petrol through it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll do a bit of a job now and be all right. So John Deere making critter here, we finally got it running, there's a lot of messing about, we've actually got his first bail wrapped, oh we're going to have his first bail wrapped. He's got his trailer into position now, so we'll get this on board. I'm trying to do filming, I'm trying to do filming so it's not fruit bars all the time. You what? I'm trying to do filming so I'm not fruit bars all the time, it looks like I'm in prison. <laughs> fruit window, yeah. You're all lucky now. <laughs> oh, you're all lucky now. What do you want? Chris, come on, show us your t-shirt. Oh, you can't do that. <laughs> Don't say that to me. <laughs> you ain't got mine. Oh, yeah. you're, you, you're not got your seals on, have you? What's it, let's have a come back. No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh. It's not a special edition, that, is it? <laughs> My knife had fallen off. Luckily, we found it. Uh, put a new one on anyway. Tighten that back in. We weren't cutting it for a few. Turns, what's going on here? Push it down with your finger, Vic. Yeah. <laughs> really easy to scratch trailers with these uh, with these squeezers because you squeeze and then they get a bit closer to the trailer. And mix Bale Trailer 4 is pristinely printed. Uh, printed? Painted even. I don't want to catch it. I uh, don't know if I explained what was up with the uh, Sorry, I'm thinking. With, <laughs> I'm thinking about dropping this bale on here. With the wrapper, we not filled the tank right up to the top. In fact, I haven't quite filled it half full. And I think it had um, still sucking air in from the filter. So um, yeah, filled it up with fuel and away it went. So maybe it was the fuel filter that was a bit mucky or that it had run itself down to a level where it was dragging a bit of air in. But anyway, it's back working now. Uh, and it's probably just a bit of, should have been filled up this morning uh, to do today's today's job and we wouldn't have had, a, we wouldn't have had an issue with it. But that's, uh, that's how it goes, that's how it went. It's getting a bit tight getting back into this shed now. To try a different, um, different approach, I think. Anyway, right, I'm going to stop recording. Tomorrow, uh, I'm going to be in Chorley uh, with the NFU on the right foot, uh, a farm, a drink calls, I think, I think the surname of the farmer is. So I'm going to be over there. In the afternoon, I'm still going to come into work and do my bits in the morning, and then it's about an hour and a half, I think, the drive from here. Now, I've been to Chorley. Tell me about Chorley, what's Chorley famous for? Let me know in the comments. We'll, uh, we'll see what Chorley were famous for. Right, I've just emptied the blue trailer. We'll get this uh, backed up here, out of the way. And swap, uh, swap the other trailer into the barn, because it just makes it a bit easier. Four wheel steer does make it very vicious when you're backing stuff up. Also, just started raining, so it'll keep these bales dry because we don't really want rain on them. But I'm having to jump off because I know the weight of those bales is immense, so we'll have to do it with the tractor. Then we can just leave it on and then we can wear the trailers empty then when, uh, when we've got everything wrapped. We've got it. It is starting to rain now. It is, so we'll be happy to get this in the shed. Good thing is, I left a can of pop in here, and I could do it after uh, the stresses of trying to sort out that diesel issue. And um, yeah, just a long day, I suppose. Anyway, back on. Let's get these back. So I've got to the last bail. Who knows, we might be doing some more tomorrow. I don't think we are. 
Um, but that's the last bale. It has been chucking it down as well, so I think we baled it at the right time. I wasn't sure, I thought it might have been better left to, to dry a bit more, but to be fair, looking at it, it looks about perfect. So, I think we're right, we ought to have got it baled. I've just seen around this corner. We've got Wormersley's here, fetching us some cattle. Possibly be my battery. Hopefully, it is from Cram. I'm backing stuff away now. Hopefully, I can get these round back into the shed without them falling off because they're a bit precarious. Right, we're feeding. Well, I'm saying we're feeding cattle, but I'm not supposed to be feeding you my jumper, you big dafty. Aren't you? Hey, you're lovely though. Well, yep, it's raining. It's a good job we got that silage in. We need some hay for these guys, so let's go and get one with the uh, nine meter after I've just dropped the mix off for my dad. There's plenty of feeding going on. We're getting towards the end of the day. Oh, well, we got everything shut up in the shed. Need to remember my drone in case um, we get that out tomorrow. So it's raining again, but that's how it is. If you have liked today's video, then uh, remember to press the like button. I need to get some rest today. Becky probably needs to get some rest because it's been her first day back at work um, after maternity leave. Um, so she's been uh, she's been busy at school doing that. So um, yeah, I'll see how her day has gone a little bit later. Uh, if, like I said, if you've liked it, remember to press the like button, subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow. Um, yeah, be here um, at the farm initially, then I'll be heading off to meet Charlotte and Ollie a little bit later on in the day for the um, the NFU on the right foot um, thing that we're doing with Ollie's sister, which um, I think if you signed up, we will see you there. Um, You'll have to check out, see if you can still get on it. I'm not sure, it might be a bit last minute now. Who knows, you might still be able to get a place. I don't know, talk to Liz Horton about it and she will let you know. Right, that's it. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Bye.